Okay, bro, I want you to see the line and I want you to act as though it's your punching me. Okay, bro. Alright, ready? Ready. Action. Do you bleed? I'm Superman. Oh, oh, oh bro, sorry, you bleeding, bro. bro. Hello. Welcome to all troopers out there. What's up, guys? So, yeah, we just came back from Batman vs. Superman. A day to remember for all DC fans. Yep. Before we continue, guys, as you can see, we are still in the car park because we can't wait to give you guys the review. Yep. So we're just gonna give you guys the review straight away from the car park. First of all, I want to say watch this movie on IMAX. It was visually stunning. Oh, yeah. And the 3D popped up. Man, it was breathtaking, man. Especially the scene, uh, yeah. the bat, arm, uh, the armored Batman versus Superman. Awesome scene. I think it is overall a level up from Man of Steel. It is by a mile. Yeah. yeah I'm not trying to be biased, but it is. Yeah. And speaking of visual, this the uh, the cinematography of this movie was phenomenally uh, well directed. Yeah. Larry Fong, who's who's the man responsible of Watchmen, mm -hmm. he gave up his best. He really brought that artistic into this uh, movie. Yeah, his flavor. Yeah. But nothing too dramatic like Watchmen though. Yeah, in comparison with Watchmen and, Man, and Batman v Superman, I still prefer Watchmen's visual. Yeah. It could be As the, close. the closest. Yeah, yeah the I, closest. by far my second favorite, most beautiful film for a comic book in general. True, yeah. true. Uh, if you notice our previous uh, reaction trailers, we were quite disappointed. We were quite hyped. We were quite okay. But you know, trailers are trailers, but overall, man, you you know the feeling of um, when you saw the Batman vs Superman trailer yeah. for the first time? Yeah. And you saw us, we were like, wow, and, and we were so excited. Yeah, I remember. That's what the feeling is all about watching this movie. Yeah. It had that it has that butterfly fuzzy feeling all fuzzy the time. <laughs> yeah. Actually, me and my brother had a comparison between Marvel and DC. Mm. Uh -huh. Marvel is more like a Led Zeppelin genre. Yeah. But this movie is more like a heavy metal Nirvana style. Deep. It's all dark and gritty. Yeah. But superpowers all over. Yeah. So with that being said, I think the majority of people that be watching this probably will be disappointed. Don't expect this movie to be like Marvel-like, very fun, witchy type of movie. Mm -hmm. uh, this movie is straight up serious. Serious, man. Yep, to, a, to a point that we don't even find ourselves laughing. Yes, this one the flaws. It's not humorous yeah. at all. And but nobody laughed. Yeah? There wasn't even a humor part yeah, nobody at all. Was laughing. Nobody was laughing in the theater. But the thing is, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah, this should have had a little bit of humor. Mm. Yeah. But I like the fact that they actually stay true to the uh, DC's uh, style. Style, the, style, the concept. The series, you know, it's all yeah. straight up series. After watching this, Marvel finally has its competition. Ooh. Yes. But yeah, um, talking about flaws, if you notice the trailers, if you see the trailers, you really actually seen the movie. It showed too much already. Yeah. I to, to a point where I knew what would happen. Yeah. Regardless how much the hate that this movie might be seen, which I'm not surprised, we'll see. Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna say this, I love this movie. Well, ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Is by far, hands best. down, the best Batman to date. To date, man. Yeah. Sorry, Bale fans. When Ben Affleck comes in, Show, oh man. my god, man. Even Alfred. Alfred, the best Alfred I've seen on screen. Man. He Alfred. is the right hand man, a true right hand man of Batman. He, he does something here. Yeah. He, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. I think he's still the same, you know? Uh, with that being said, doesn't mean he's bad. He's still good. I think really? Still good. I think this time he really played really well. Yeah. I, um, it's like a whole nother level of Superman, man. Yeah. yeah. How about Wonder Woman, bro? What do you think? Ooh. Um, she's sexy, yo. She, she proved me wrong in this one. Even though she has a lack of screen time, I think... A lack of screen time, though. I think it's still subtle, in a way. But they introduced every character in this one very oh, nicely. a lot of Easter eggs, guys. A lot of Easter a eggs. A lot of Easter eggs. What's the be dawn ready. of justice? How about 
Lex Luthor. Jesse Eisenberg's portrayal here is different compared to Gene Hackman. Yeah. Or oh, any other DC Lex yeah. Luthor. This is more of a psychotic Lex Luthor. Yeah. So, which is on par like Joker in a way. A young version of. Yes. And uh, basically, it's like saying like Batman has a psychotic, you know, obsessed. Villain. And villain. Superman also has a psychotic villain. Here. True. So, it's like having two Jokers. I don't know if that's a flaw, but I, I did enjoy his performance here. He has that eerie feel. Yeah, it has like, you know what? It's like, he's like a worm. And now he's like in a cocoon or something. Cocoon Going to bloom into a butterfly. Yeah, a, Some, a poisonous butterfly. A ball, rich, evil butterfly. As for the story, uh, to me, I think it's great. It's a great storytelling. I like the fact where there's a controversial surrounding this man who came from the sky. Mm. People worship him as God. Yeah. People despise him. People love him. All this attention that he got, you know? Yeah. And to me, that is very realistic. And baby Batman came in, you know, very curious, angry, because he destroyed half of Metropolis. You know? True, man. And Lex Luthor has ego, you know, about gods and everything, you know. True. He wants to be better than him. He wants to yeah. show everybody that even a god like him has his own weakness. Yeah. And I like that story. I, I, I like how Batman and Superman introduced. So, guys, don't miss out the early scenes of Batman vs. Superman, and don't miss out the end. However, you don't need to stay after the credits because this is not Marvel. Yeah, they were doing the opposite of Marvel. Yeah. You know, anything Marvel does, they do the opposite way. Everybody stay uh, during, uh, after the credits, yeah. <laughs> hoping there will be another additional secrets. I was thinking maybe a um, continuation or maybe a glimpse of Suicide Squad overall of this movie. Yeah. How many popcorns are we going to give this movie? We're going to give it a, a 4.5 popcorn. Yes. yes. So do yeah. catch up Batman vs Superman, it's awesome, it's worthy to watch for a second time and to get it on Blu-ray. Yeah, Blu-ray guys. And, and once again guys, be prepared, it's not a Marvel movie, it's different. It's, it's a different opposite, kind. bro. I know most people will not be too keen yeah. to the result of what the Superman offers, but just be prepared, no, yeah. it's not Marvel Keep it low-key, yeah. keep it at a, a, a normal, no, uh, a, a nominal Hype, don't keep it too high. So yeah, this movie is not for everyone. It's not a no. typical superhero yeah. flick. Yeah, it's not Marvel. I don't care how many haters this movie might get, which I'm not surprised. Yeah. I gonna say, like I said before, I love this movie. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoy our review. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay true to yourself and be the king. I'm Shane. This is Shaz. Peace, love, vibes, good. Batman, Superman. Dawn of Justice. Justice League, guys. It's all.